Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. So for number 16, it says in the election for Union County Comptroller, the Mr. Hine got 33,172 votes and Mr. Palisano got 25,752 votes. By how many votes did Mr. Hine win the election? So in this case, we really are just looking at a subtraction here. If I want to know how many more votes one had than the other, then we're just subtracting. And they've even lined them up nice for us because, let's be real, we don't get a calculator. Later, so we're going to have to go through this the long way. Now, right off the bat, is there any ways to quickly guess this answer? Well, 33 to 23 would be 10,000, and we don't have 23. We're above that. So instantly, C and D is out because we know our answer has to be less than 10,000. But otherwise, these two are a little too close to tell. So let's just go through. 2 minus 2 is going to give me 0. We have 7 minus 5 is going to give me 2. Um, we have to carry the 1 here, so let's go ahead and bring this down to 2, and we have 11. So 11 minus 7 is going to give us 4 for that one. We brought this down to 2, so we no longer can do 2 minus the 5, because that would give us negative. So we're going to carry from here again, so now we actually have a 12 here. So 12 minus the 5 is 7, meaning that the 2's cancel out, giving us 7,420 7, as a final answer. So we're actually looking at A for number 16. So for number 17, it says Bob buys 25 pads of paper each, which contains 70 pieces of paper. What is the total number of pieces of paper that Bob purchases? So this is, again, a pretty easy question to go about mathematically. But our issue is a lot of times people trying to understand, how do I know when I multiply or divide or add or subtract? In this case, just think about what it actually means to do each of these things. In this case, we have 25 pads of paper where each one has 70 pieces. So in other words, we have 25 groups of 70. When you have multiple groups of an item, like five groups of three or whatever, that's multiplication. You are actually multiplying because that means you're seeing how many groupings of that number you have. So in this case, we're going to end up doing 25 times that 70. Now, notice I did line this up as though I'm going to do it the long way for multiplication, but in this case, you actually don't. When you're multiplying the long way, you just put a zero on the end with this for this guy. But then 7 times 25 is actually fairly easy to do. We know 4 times 25 is going to give us 100, and then we have 3 more 25s after that to bring us up to 75. So that means 7 times 25 is going to be 175. So if I take that answer and put it out in front of my 0, 1750, it gives me 1750 for a final answer of A. Number 18 on the ASVAB says, if the average speed of an airplane is 525 miles per hour, how many miles can it travel in six hours? So here's the deal. We're going 525 per hour. So usually that per tells us that it's division. But in this case, notice it says per hour. It's not actually dividing by the hours right here. So it's telling us it can do this many in an hour. And then it's traveling for six hours. So this is actually a multiplication question because it's saying if I do 525 miles per hour and I do that six times for six hours, I'm multiplying by six. Now, again, lots of different ways we can do this. We can do it the old-fashioned way of multiplying the six by each one and so forth. Or we could try grouping and seeing if that's a little bit faster. Let's try the grouping method today. So I know that 425s would give me 100. So 625s would give me 150 by just adding 25 six times, all right? Six times that 500, though, is going to be, well, six times five is 30. And since it's 100, we have those other two zeros. So realistically, that's going to be 3,000 with just the 500 times 6. So we have the 3,000, we have the 6 times 25, giving us 150. So that's going to end up being a total of 3,150 when you put the two of those together by adding them together. And that's going to look like answer C. Again, this takes a long time to explain out loud, but most of this should be happening in your head to save you a bunch of time. Let's take a look at number 19 on the ASVAB. Jibby earns an annual salary of $26,124. What is his average monthly salary? Now, obviously, how many months are there in a year? Oh, that's right, 12. So that means that we need to take his total salary and divide that number by 12. So if we do 26,124, we're going to divide that number by 12. 
Let's start off here. 12 goes into 26 two times. Well, 2 times 12 is 24, meaning if we subtract the two of these, we have 2 left over. Bring down the 1, we have 21. Now, 12 goes into 21 just one time, because otherwise we're going to go over that 21 number. So we got a 12 here, and that means we're going to have 9 left over. So now we bring down this 2, and we say, all right, we got to go into this guy. So we got 12 going into 92, goes into that 7 times. All right, 7 times the 2 is going to give us 14, carry the 1. 7 times the 1, 7, plus that 1 is 8. Now we got 92 minus this 80. Four. That's going to give us a total of 8, so we're going to bring down this 4. Now notice at this point, I have kept going because we have 2, 1, 7, and that's still for both of these answers. So this last one makes a difference. How many times does 12 go into 84? Well, in this case, it's going to be 7 again for a total of 84, and we are finished with the question. Final answer, 2,177. He's not making very much a month, or maybe that's a lot to you. I don't know, but our answer here is B. So again, it seems like this ASVAB test is really testing just your ability to do math without a calculator, even if it's super basic. So here it says, Mr. Norwalk bought 24 gallons of gasoline, which enables him to drive for 648 miles. On the average, how many miles does he get per gallon of gasoline? So in this case, if we're doing miles per gallon of gasoline, then that's what it is we're using for a division. Because we always say like per here means that we're dividing. So in this case, we're doing miles divided by gallons of gasoline. So in this case, there were 648 miles. And we are dividing that by our gallons of gasoline, which is 24. So looking at this, we're going to say, how many times does 24 go into 64? Well, that ends up being two times, because if you go three, you'll end up going over that number. So 24 times two is going to give me 48. If we go ahead and subtract these two, that's going to end up giving me 16. We bring down this eight. Now, this is one of those trial and error things, because I know 24 going into 168, how many times does that happen? That's not super intuitive. Um, if we go ahead and check off the back, Let's see, if we tried six, that would not be high enough. So let's go ahead and try for seven. Um, if I do seven times four, that's going to give me 28. Carry the two. Um, then we're going to do seven times the two is going to give us 14 plus the two that we had, giving us 16. So that actually is 168, meaning that it's going to go to zero, meaning we have no remainder. So our final answer here is 27. Answer D. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today, but remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.